hello everyone in this video we are going to see the standard continuous time signals in the subject signals and systems here we have around 12 standard continuous time signals these signals are always called as elementary signals to start with the first standard signal is impulse signal the impulse signal is a signal with infinite magnitude and zero duration it is completely a theoretical signal because it has infinite magnitude with zero time duration. This impulse signal is defined as del of t equals to infinite only at t equals to zero. When t is not equals to zero, the amplitude goes down to zero. But here, one interesting feature is this signal has an area of a that is from integral from minus infinite to plus infinite del of t dt equals to a. Now, interestingly, if this a value equals to 1, then that signal is called as unit impulse signal. Hence, unit impulse signal is a signal with infinite magnitude, with zero duration and with unit area. Graphically, we can represent the impulse signal like this. Only at t equals to 0, we have infinite amplitude. In all other places, the amplitude is 0. The second signal is step signal. By looking at this amplitude, we can see a step shaped signal, right? So when t is less than 0, the amplitude is 0. When t is greater than or equals to 0, to the right side of this y axis, the amplitude rise to a. Hence, this, unit, this step signal x of t equals to a, when t greater than or equals to 0, then it is 0, when t less than equals to or uh, less than 0. Here, again, if a value equals to 1, then this signal is called as unit step signal. Hence, unit step signal is equals to 1 when t greater than or equals to 0 and it is 0 when t is less than 0. And this unit step signal is denoted as u of t. So, wherever we find u of t, that represents unit step signal. And this is the graphical form of the step signal. Third signal is ramp signal. Again, the name itself has its meaning. It, it looks like a ramp. So this ramp signal is uh, defined as x of t equals to a into t for t greater than or equals to 0 and x of t equals to 0 when t less than 0. When t equals to 1, we have amplitude a. When t equals to 2, we have amplitude 2a. When t equals to 3, we will have amplitude 3a. At the time instant 5, we will have amplitude 5a and so on. Hence, it will, it will give some ramp shape. Unit ramp is again a special case. When a equals to 1, this ramp signal is unit ramp signal x of t equals to simply t. Here a equals to 1. This a becomes 1. Hence, uh, this x of t will be t for t greater than or equals to 0 and x of t equals to 0 for t less than 0. This unit ramp signal is denoted as R of t. So, wherever we find the term R of t, that represents unit ramp signal. And this is the graphical form of this ramp signal, unit ramp signal. Next one is parabolic signal that is x of t equals to a into t square by 2 for t greater than or equals to 0 and it is 0 for t less than 0. Here again if a equals to 1 then this kind of parabolic signal can be called as unit parabolic signal. So x of t equals to t square by 2 and x of t equals to 0 for different values of t. These are the graphical structures. Fourth signal is unit pulse signal. This unit pulse signal is defined as pi of t equals to u of t plus 1 by 2 minus u of t minus 1 by 2. We already know that u of t represents unit step signal. Unit step signal will have amplitude from minus infinite to 0, the amplitude is 0. Then from t equals to 0 to infinity, the amplitude will be 1. Right. This is the unit step signal u of t. Here u of t plus 2 is actually the unit step signal 
moved towards the left hand side or shifted towards the left hand side by 1 by 2 units. This is u of t plus 1 by 2. Similarly, u of t minus 1 by 2 is u of t is shifted towards the right hand side. It is right shifting like this. This is 1 by 2 and this signal is called as u of t minus 1 by 2. If we subtract u of t minus 1 by 2 from u of t plus 1 by 2, we will get this pulse signal pi of t. The next signal is sinusoidal signal. So we have two different types of sinusoidal signal. One is cosinusoidal signal. The general form is x of t equals to a cos omega naught t plus pi. Omega naught is angular frequency in radians per second and this can be denoted as 2 pi f naught where f naught is the frequency in hertz. And the same 2 pi f naught can be uh, written as 2 pi by t. Here t is the time period in second. And pi is the phase difference. Similarly, we have sinusoidal signal x of t equals to a sin omega naught t plus pi. Here again omega naught t is angular frequency in radians per second and f naught is frequency in hertz, t is time period in second and we have the similar kind of phase shift parameter pi. The next kind of standard signal is exponential signal. We have two different cases in this exponential signal. One is real exponential signal, second is complex exponential signal. The real exponential signal is represented as x of t equals to a into e power bt. So a into e power bt. Based on the value of b, either this exponential can be increasing exponential or decreasing exponential. If b is positive value, we have increasing exponential. If b is negative value, then we have decreasing exponential. Similarly, we have complex exponential signal, which is x of t equals to a into e power j omega naught t. Any e power j theta can be written as cos theta plus j sin theta. By following this, this complex exponential signal is written as a into cos omega naught t plus j sin omega naught t. Here we have two parts, real part as well as imaginary part. So here a cos omega naught t is a real part of x of t, a sin omega naught t is imaginary part of this x of t. Then exponentially rising or decaying sinusoidal signal. If the multiplication of sinusoidal signal along with exponential will give us exponentially rising sinusoidal signal or exponentially decaying sinusoidal signal. So this rising or decaying vary with respect to the value of b. If b value is positive, we will get rising sinusoidal signal. If b is negative, we have decaying exponentially sinusoidal signal. The ninth signal is triangular pulse. The triangular pulse in general is represented as del A of t equals to 1 minus modulus of t by A. Here this A represents the width of this triangular pulse. The tenth signal which is a signum signal, signum of t equals to 1 for t greater than 0 and signum of t equals to minus 1 for t less than 0 and it is 0 at t equals to 0. So the graphical representation of signum function is given in this. Next is sync signal. The sync signal is defined as sin t by t over the range from minus infinite to plus infinite. Next is Gaussian signal. The Gaussian signal is defined as x of t equals to g a of t equals, equals to e power minus a square t square over the range from minus infinite to plus infinite and it is a bell shaped uh, signal. So these are the standard signals otherwise called as elementary signals. So in this uh, presentation we had uh, 12 different standard continuous time signals. So these are the signals uh, which are called as standard continuous time signals.